In today's video, we're gonna be talking about the real reason why places like Bahama Mamas and other popular nightclubs in Grand Theft Auto Online were not opened up in the After Hours DLC. So I'd say that this is gonna go down as one of the most disappointing parts of this update, that Rockstar did not take advantage of the already existing nightlife scene that was in Los Santos, where you had a ton of mainstream nightclub brands like Bahama Mamas, Cockatoo, Tequila La, just to name a few that were already established nightclubs with built interiors uh, that Rockstar have not taken advantage of. And Bahama Mamas was not introduced. It was not used in a mission. Tequila La was not introduced. It was not used in a mission. These nightclubs were almost forgotten about. So it kind of makes you wonder, why did Rockstar do that? It would have been perfect. And we've seen them do that in the past. So in the Bikers update, they actually opened up the Lost MC Clubhouse. They added a brand new interior to it, and they actually allowed us to go inside during various missions, and that was really cool. They finally opened it up. They actually gave it a purpose. Bahama Mamas has no purpose. The interior is not open. Uh, it is not attached to any missions, so it kind of begs the question, well, why was it not opened? So before this update came out, I had speculated that we wouldn't be able to necessarily own Bahama Mamas, but instead nightclubs like that would just be open to the public and that you could go inside, you know, with your friends or other crew members, have fun and enjoy yourself. And it turns out that Rockstar maybe had a different idea. So I'm sure you guys know the nightclub promotion missions that you can do, whether it's flying a blimp around or, you know, gathering VIPs or something like that. Well, there's one mission that actually has you going about blowing up supply trucks that are going to Bahama Mamas. And during the middle of that, Tony will send you a text message that looks like this. One down, three more to go. Bahama Mamas can F their mothers. TX. So it turns out the real reason why Bahama Mamas and these other nightclubs are not open is because they are direct rivals to our nightclubs. So not only are we competing against, you know, other players as far as nightclubs go, and I say that sort of directly because yes, you can destroy other players like blimps and stuff like that, and your population will go up, theirs will go down. So in a way, you are competing. Um, at the end of the day, you know, the NPCs don't really choose. They just stay in your nightclub. But it looks like, hypothetically, Bahama Mamas and the other name brand nightclubs are rivals of ours. So that would explain why we can't go inside and we can't, you know, take advantage of them. Now, this also makes sense if you're paying attention to the lore of GTA nightclubs as well. In Grand Theft Auto 4, The Ballad of Gay Tony... Tony was the owner of Mason at Nine and the Hercules nightclub, and Bahama Mamas in that game and in Liberty City was also his rival. So it sort of makes sense that since he's back and he's helping us, that Bahama Mamas would continue to be a rival of, you know, our nightclubs, which, you know, we have our prefix names that we can choose, Galaxy, The Palace. That's another thing that's a little bit disappointing. I was really hopeful that Rockstar was going to allow us to name our nightclubs, so at first I was kind of shocked when we only had nine different choices, but now I kind of get it because they did so much voiceover and motion capture with the names of our nightclubs that, you know, obviously they couldn't just choose every single name that we could think of. So they had to kind of go with nine preset ones. So that right there should answer the question why the Bahama Mamas and the other nightclubs were not featured in this update. I think it's a real shame because if they're not coming in this update, let's face it, they're not coming in any update whatsoever. So I think this finally does close the door on Bahama Mamas. I don't think it is ever going to be added officially in Grand Theft Auto Online, which again is a real shame. And Rockstar was sort of like hinting that this was going to happen. They were making changes to the Bahama Mamas interior. So I am really shocked that it isn't used in some way, shape or form for a mission or a nightclub objective. And then it's just not open in general. I feel like this is going to go down as one of the real lost opportunities uh, of this DLC. But anyways, that's all the information that I've got for you guys in this video today. Hopefully you did enjoy. I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments down below. Do you wish Bahama Mamas was added in this update? Or do you think it's really not necessary? Since we have our own nightclubs now, we have NPCs dancing in them. Basically, we have all the features that were going to be in Bahama Mamas. It's just not the name brand of Bahama Mamas. Again, let me know your thoughts, opinions, and more in the comments down below. I'd love to hear from you guys down there. If you did go on to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And also, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new. 
where you like daily GTA 5 videos like this. With all the way, guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.